tonight, public health officials renew calls for personal responsibility as active cases of COVID-19 surge. Fire officers honored for sterling service in post-disaster efforts in the region. Young people in St. John's City West benefit from transformative program and the civil registry to remain closed for another week to facilitate software upgrades. The ABS Evening News begins now. The local evening news is brought to you by Nagico, local agents, Bryson's Insurance. Good evening. Thank you for tuning in to the evening news on ABS and Tigas News Authority. I am Sherilyn Beza. Health officials are intensifying their call for personal responsibility as COVID-19 infections continue to increase. They are urging members of the public to adhere to public health measures and for those who have not yet done so, to be vaccinated. The latest dashboard shows active cases have now climbed to 148 following the confirmation of 43 new infections as of August 19. 248 samples were tested at the hospital with 20 of these cases recorded on the 18th of August and 23 on August 19. The, epidemiolo the epidemiology unit is still in the process of ascertaining whether the cases are imported or none imported. Meanwhile, there have been 14 additional recoveries. 13 people are now hospitalized with COVID-19 with two in severe condition. And 18 fire officers in the Royal Police Force of Antigua and Barbuda have been honored for their sterling post-disaster efforts in the region. Humanitarian medals were awarded to each and to the search and fire rescue officers deployed to Dominica and the British Virgin Islands during Tropical Storm Erica as well as Hurricane Irma and Maria. The 18 officers have been honored by the Caribbean Association of Fire Chiefs. Fire Chief Assistant Commissioner of Police Elvis Weaver is very pleased. So I feel very happy I feel very proud that you officers who went, to, went through some trying times in Dominica and Tartola now will be rewarded and will be able to wear medals with pride. The National Office of Disaster Services played an integral role in getting the officers to Dominica and Tortola. Antigua and Barbuda Fire Service, which is the lead agency for, fire, for search and rescue in Antigua and Barbuda, over the years have been there for deployment and I want to use this opportunity to thank both Mr. Weaver and the Commissioner for always being ready when a request comes in. Police Commissioner Atlee Rodney is also elated about the awards. This humanitarian award from the Caribbean Association of Fire Chief makes me extremely happy and proud because I can associate myself with each of the deployment that the persons are getting reward for. Constable Patrice Davis was the lone female deployed to Tortola during Hurricane Irma in 2017. Having been in the respective islands during the deployment, Commissioner Rodney says he can identify with the hard work the officers were called to perform and can testify to the effort they put in. The police commissioner commended and thanked the officers for their sacrifice and determination to help the vulnerable in times of disaster. He also encouraged the officers to take their search and rescue training seriously. Meanwhile, the officers were also elated to be awarded for their humanitarian efforts. I feel honored and because we went to do a humanitarian service to countries that are in need and so on, and when you're rewarded, in that way, so it's, it's a nice feeling. I'm very honored and pleased knowing that we went out there, knowing we didn't know what to expect, but we went out to do our job. I feel very grateful. I feel honored, and I believe it's a great gesture by the CAFSI, the Caribbean Association of Firefighting Firefighters. It's an honor and a pleasure for me to receive this award, more so for the fire department, for the recognition, for the hard work that we have been doing. 
The search and rescue officers share their experience. Erica, we went to Dominica and uh, we had some very serious challenges. Um, we had areas that was um, so vulnerable. I must say it wasn't an easy task at that time because I just joined the force. It was my first deployment with the search and rescue team. I served in Dominica twice. Overall, uh, humanitarianly speaking, it was devastating, very devastating and heart-wrenching. I must say it was quite challenging because the conditions that we met in Dominica was more or less devastating. Um, a lot of persons were displaced from their homes and their families. The officers say they're willing to undertake future search and rescue operations and are encouraging other officers to get trained in search and rescue. Now an inspiring story of how a program is changing the lives of youth in St. John's City West. A dozen youth from the constituency are now certified to work in the nation's hospitality industry after graduating from the Goal Getters Empowerment Community Program. The program trains individuals in areas of personal and professional development, entrepreneurship and customer service. More in ABS's Courtney Joseph's report. Goal Getters Empowerment is a for-profit organization geared towards the professional development of the nation's citizens with focus on the hospitality industry. However, this program was free of cost to the participants following a collaboration between Goal Getters Empowerment and Member of Parliament for St. John City West, the Honorable Gaston Brown. The program has been praised as transformative. There are people out there on the street corners who are very educated but they need to be heard. Managing Director and owner of Goal Getters Empowerment, Tracy Withy Brown, praising one of the graduates in particular for his remarkable growth throughout the program. She explains how the program has been able to change the lives of vulnerable youth. And after seeing the concerns of the youth uh, with regards to crime and uh, drug use and addiction, I decided that I needed to go into the community to empower the youth so that they can be marketable and get the opportunity to grow. An alumnus of this very program, Darian James, says he struggled with these issues after the loss of his mother when he was just 17 years old. He says it was only after meeting Mrs. Withy Brown that he recognized his potential. Did the courses, did a bit of career searching, path searching, you know, trying to figure out what I want to do in my life. I can stand here today and let you know that I'm a proud owner of 13 different certificates, including the Gold Getter Certificate. He is now a certified West Indies Foundation coach, a lifeguard trained in first aid, and a night shift supervisor at a five-star hotel. Chief of Staff in the Prime Minister's Office, Ambassador Lionel Hurst, attended the ceremony on behalf of Prime Minister and City West MP, the Honourable Gaston Brown. He offered words of encouragement by highlighting the similarities between Prime Minister Brown's childhood and that of the graduate. His mother became a little ill, mentally ill, and uh, people in Antigua can sometimes be cruel, and they would say uh, horrible things uh, both to him and to his mother. Uh, as though she were responsible for the thing, uh, for what she had become, her illness. And we must always remember uh, that it is better uh, to give and to be joyful uh, than uh, to uh, attempt to take and also to be unkind. Goal Getters Empowerment is affiliated with many hotels in Antigua and Barbuda, so graduates are guaranteed employment into the hospitality industry. The program is expected to expand to St. John's Rural East in a few months. Courtney Joseph, ABS News. Thank you, Courtney. Now members of the public are being advised that the Antigua and Barbuda Civil Registry will remain closed for an additional week. The closure commences Monday, 23rd August, to facilitate ongoing upgrades to the software system. The Attorney General's Office and the Ministry of Legal Affairs, Public Safety and Labor are making every effort to quickly conclude the process of modernizing its systems. The public is advised that if needs be, the period of closure may be extended. The customer, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. The customer service window will be open from 8.30 a.m. to 12 noon to facilitate emergency <coughs> emergencies and filings within the deeds division during this period. 
Meanwhile, the civil registry requests that you listen out for announcements as to the status of upgrades and when full operations will resume. Momentum continues to build ahead of the draw for the grand prize of a brand new Honda Fit in the Rotary Club of Antigua's raffle on the 10th of November this year. The Rotary Club drew winners of preliminary prizes today, as our reporter Kim Emanuel Baird tells us. A gift basket with goodies from Premier Beverages and a two-night stay at the Trade Winds Hotel for two were the two preliminary prizes drawn on Saturday at the BDO building on the Sydney Walling Highway. First lucky winner who will be winning a gift basket compliments of Premier Beverages. The basket contains local products from Premier Beverages, hot sauce, rums, wines that are sold locally there. And the winner is Alana S. Joseph of Parham Town. And Alana's lucky ticket number is 241. Then on to winner number two. Our second lucky winner today will be winning a two-night stay at the Trade Winds Hotel. And the winner is Jeremiah Piggott of Cedar Grove. Jeremiah Piggott of Cedar Grove, lucky ticket number 13800. Both lucky winners will go back into the raffle for a chance at winning the grand prize of a new Honda Fit. The Rotary Club expresses appreciation to those making this possible. I take this opportunity to thank all the sponsors on board for this raffle. Special thanks to Andrew Insurance and Antigua Motors for making it possible. To the today sponsors of the prizes, Premier Beverages and Tradewinds Hotel, we thank you. We look forward to the other sponsors who will be coming on with the prizes in the upcoming weeks. Thank you very much. The Rotary Club of Antigua reminds the public to support their efforts so they can in turn give to the less fortunate in the community. This is Kim Emanuel Baird reporting for ABS News. That item brings us to the end of our national segment. Sporting developments are up next. Double Olympic champion lowers her personal best to underline her status as the fastest woman alive. Do stay tuned. At Nagico, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going even after an accident happens on site. At Nagico, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. Seeing is experiential. Seeing is everyday life. Seeing is style, class, and sheer sophistication. At iMobile Vision Care, we offer state-of-the-art lab technology and the widest variety of quality eyewear from the biggest brands to suit your lifestyle. Stop by our offices at Dr. Rosalie Drive Lower Gambles to get a comprehensive digital eye exam or call us at 562-7823 and ask about our optical care services. iMobile Vision Care. See and be seen. with Automotive Art. Automotive Art is giving you the chance to stay at Buccaneer Beach Club or win a car spa package from Island View Car Wash with exclusive discounts from 15 to 50% off to special service packages including your tires, batteries, oils, and tools. It's so easy to enter our raffle when you spend $250 or more. Visit Automotive Art on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube and win big this summer with Automotive Art. This promotion ends September 4th. This sports report is brought to you by Total Imports. It's not easy getting rid of these types of greases every day. It's hard work. But if you really think about it, it's not really us doing the cleaning. At Total Import Supplies, we believe it's all about the product. Our extensive new line of ChemClean products are extremely concentrated, eco-friendly, effective and guaranteed to make your life a whole lot easier. Whether you're cleaning at home, the office or at industrial type spaces, when it comes to food-based solvents, sanitizers, cleaners, floor care, commercial machines and dispensers for laundry care, let the product do most of the work for you. Introducing the best brands in the cleaning business from ChemClean 
Caffeine Limited. Available only from Total Import Supplies. And welcome back. Jamaica Elaine Thompson Hera underlined her status as one of the greatest ever sprinters when she ran her second fastest woman's 100 meter of all time at the Eugene Diamond League. She clocked a new world record or new world leading 10.54 seconds to win easily to lead another Jamaican sweep of the top three places. Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Sharika Jackson were second and third, respectively, in a repeat of the Tokyo podium. American Shikari Richardson, who missed the Olympics because of a one-month suspension after testing positive for marijuana, finished last. Meanwhile, BBC Sport reports Tokyo bronze medalist Andre de Grasse won the men's 100 meters in 9.74 seconds, with Americans Fred Curley, the Olympic silver medal winner, and Ronnie Baker, crossing the line in second and third. In the men's 200 meter, American Olympic bronze medalist Noah Lyles set a new meeting record and the world lead of 19.52 seconds. Rye Benjamin, who was born to Antiguan parents and competes for the USA, finished fifth in 20.16 seconds. Now, rain put paid to play on today's second day of the second test match at Sabina Park in Jamaica. Following several outbreak of showers and thunder showers, play was called off due to a wet outfield. Weather permitting, Pakistan will resume tomorrow's third day on 212 for four. Now, champions Manchester City demolished Norwich 5-0 in the English Premier League on Saturday. Jack Grealish opened his City account on his Premier League home debut one of three goals Jesus laid on for his teammates against the outclassed Canaries. This scoreline was a repeat of Norwich's most recent visit there in July 2020. Elsewhere, goals from Diego Jota and Sadio Mane ensued, ensured Liverpool made it, two, made it two Premier League wins from two with victory over Burnley at a packed Anfield. Now, Juventus manager Massimiliano Allegri says Cristiano Ronaldo is not looking for a move away from the club this summer. BBC Sport says the 36-year-old Ronaldo wrote on social media this week that rumors of his departure were a, and I quote, a disrespect for me as a man and a player, unquote. In a pre-match interview, Allegri said the Portugal captain was staying. That's a look at sports. When we return, a look at news from across the region and farther afield. Stay tuned.